welcome to Creative Bath Lab. Hey guys, today I'm giving you, hopefully, the last color powder tutorial. I wanted to correct a few mistakes and clarify some things. I'm going to show you how to make all the colors with only three dyes. And I'm also going to show you three other dyes I recently discovered that are amazing. Supply links and discount codes will be in the description. Add hot water to a cup and then add the dye a little bit at a time so it doesn't clump together. Once you're finished, you can leave it in liquid form or dry it on a base powder for dry powder color. Mix and knead the powder until the color is evenly distributed. Lay it on paper, break up the clumps, and spread it out for faster drying. I never wear gloves, but you definitely should because it will stain your skin. As it's drying, the top crust will discolor. This is completely normal and it will go away once it's dry and you mix it together. Blend the powder to make it as smooth as possible. You can make different shades of each color. This one has a little less dye. This one has the same amount of dye as in the recipe. And this powder was coated three times with the amount of dye given in the recipe. I did that in the last tutorial, but I don't recommend it. The colors may be bolder, but they're also a lot less bright and more dull as well, but this is up to you. You can make all the colors with just these three dyes. I don't use red 40, which is the typical red. I don't care for it and it can't make magenta, purple, coral, and other colors like red 28. Plus, the colors are much more vibrant with Red 28. This combination makes colors like cadmium, coral, hot pink, orange, vermilion, gold, and more. This combination makes colors like purple, magenta, fuchsia, periwinkle, violet, royal, and more. This color combination makes colors like green, jade, turquoise, sky blue, seafoam green, emerald, and lime. This is yellow and blue a lot more yellow, and a lot more blue. Mix orange and lime to make olive. You can make all the colors with the three dyes I just showed you. You do not need any additional dyes. With that said, I highly recommend the hot pink dye. It's kind of funny, I actually got really upset because Fizz Fairy markets this as hot pink. They even put a hot pink swatch as the color. So when you get it, you're fully expecting pink, but it's not. Nonetheless, in my opinion, this is a must have color. It makes gorgeous and bright shades of pink and purple. Mix it with blue for periwinkle, purple, and plum. Mix it with red 28, which is pink, for bubblegum, fuchsia, and magenta. Both colors here are mixed with blue. This one has hot pink, 
and this one has red 28. Red 28 and hot pink create some of my favorite colors that just can't be replicated without hot pink. Amethyst is another gorgeous color. You can make a violet with red 28 and blue. It just won't be as vibrant. Both colors are mixed with amethyst. One has hot pink, the other has red 28. Hot pink and amethyst make a gorgeous purple. Add more amethyst for a cooler purple. Or add hot pink for a gorgeous berry. I probably won't use red 33 a lot, but it is gorgeous and it cannot be replicated. Believe me, I've tried. This color is great when mixed with amethyst or blue for bold, rich colors. I had to get new jars because the tops of my old ones were breaking. Anyway, I like this system a lot better because I can look at all the colors and choose which one I want. This jar comes in a four ounce, eight ounce, nine ounce, all the way up to I think like 16 ounces. If you plan on purchasing dyes from Viz Fairy, try to wait just a bit longer. I have a glitter tutorial coming out soon that features some of their glitter. This will save you on shipping. <laughs>